Ebed here, and I am the Witch Willow Creek. Welcome to A Witch and Tarot. Today's video is to look at the week ahead. So let's get started. Hope everybody had a great week. I do have a two cents video coming up. It's just I haven't edited it yet. So it's been a it's been a couple of weeks since I've recorded it. So. We shall see. Just a week ahead, have in store for us. Let's see. Here's one. We have the Six of Cups. always I mean look at it we are taking a look back into our past our lives what we've done where we come from we're at the Queen of Wands when we're looking back because we're feeling stuck like our energy is feeling drained I feel Sorry, guys, I have to have some coffee. Um, I feel like we feel stuck in where we're at. And so we're looking to the past in order to see what is keeping us stuck. So we're doing some work this week on ourselves and trying to get ourselves unstuck because we have come to a, you know, a stalemate here uh, with whatever projects or people we're dealing with. And so we're trying to figure out a better way to get around it. Here's two more cards. We've got the Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. So yeah, we're stuck. We're stuck this week. Um, the wheel is not moving for us because we are having to take a look at things that we don't want to take a look at. Okay? We're, we're not... We're, we're sticking our heels in the dirt like jackasses do and not want to move forward. We don't want to... We're not wanting to pay attention to what's going on. We want to brush things under the rug. We have our heads in the sand when we really need to be moving forward. So this is a, a week of being stuck in the past, dealing with shit, uh, or not dealing with shit, basically, because we're stuck. Right now, we're stuck. For some of us, it's creatively. Some of us are stuck creatively. Some of us are stuck um, emotionally with people. So let's see what... Uh, we're, just, we're just being a pain in the ass this week. Ain't nobody going to be happy this week, I tell you right now. Ain't nobody going to be in a good mood because we're in we're not in a good mood. Let's 
let's get an oracle sorry i didn't mean to move you guys um a friend of mine showed me an oracle that I like really really a lot and i was going to see about getting that but until then let's use the map oracle i mean like i, I don't have an I have more tarot than I do oracle, and I would really like a little bit more oracle. Okay, I just need one, just one. This one right here. Talisman. Talisman, do I have the book that is here? Let's read what the book says. I've. I feel that a lot of us are stuck, not just um, not just because we're digging our heels, well, not only because we're digging our heels in, but also because, um, as you well know, this is also a witchy channel. I feel like somebody has uh, is try is stopping us from moving forward. And I gotta tell you that some people, maybe some people, you you have people who are, who are your actual friends who, who love you for who you are, no matter what kind of shit you do, they're there for you. They're willing to fucking hide a body for your ass. Okay, you got those kind of friends, but then you also got those friends who are only there, who are only your friends because they. You give them praise. You give them what they need. They take your energy from you. All they like to do is call you uh, and rub shit in your face. Make They, they want to make you feel bad. And at the same time, mm -hmm. they want you to make them feel good. Like, what the fuck? Right? Like, I am one of those people I, that is not afraid to cut people off. I cut my own family off. I am not afraid to cut your ass off. You know what I mean? A lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for, for the success you seek. Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid. Okay? You want to screenshot that? that you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. It helps you recognize your allies and know how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices to make. You really can't com commit a mistake. Whatever your in inquiry, great fortune awaits you. For, your, for you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You learned your lesson and earned the right to, to your success. <clears throat> but with this Wheel of Fortune reverse, we ain't going nowhere this week. We ain't going nowhere this week. Even though we have the power to move forward and to make things work for us, where things will be successful, we're digging our heels. And a lot of us, it's because we're afraid of success. For a lot of us, success is scary because you don't know what awaits you when you achieve everything that you've wanted to achieve or you get granted everything that you've ever asked for. And it's a scary situation because it's a situation that you've never been in. So I totally understand that. <clears throat> for others, it's people keeping you stuck not wanting you to achieve what you can do. Like when people like my like I, and I'll tell you like my grandmother used to say that they would throw salt on you. Metieron la sal, right? Which means they throw salt on you. And that means that um 
people say negative things about you, about your life to keep you down because words have power. So you need to combat that. You need to start because you, you need to stop talk, doing the negative talk about yourself because there's already enough people talking negatively about you. Like I said, some of them are really good friends of yours. They're true friends. They're they're there, you know, till the end. And then you got those who are just only there. You're, they're only there for you for their benefit, not yours. <clears throat> Let's get an affirmation. And those are the kind of those are the kind of friends that you don't need. You don't need friends. You don't need fake friends. And I totally understand. You know, you want to keep your enemies close, your friends close, and your enemies closer. But at the same time, they're not doing anything for you, and they're just trying to to uh, keep you down. They just want you to make them feel good about themselves. I am supported. Like I said, do you have those friends who are there for you no matter what? Those are the friends you need to go to. Those are the only friends you need to talk to. Those are the friends you need to um, vent to when you need somebody to vent to. Because the other friends will just are just going to use it against you. Okay. You will tell them everything that's going on in your life and they're going to turn around and tell your enemy all the shit that you just told them. And if you're that kind of person and you're watching this video and if the shoe fits, wear it. Because that is not okay. You know, these people think that you don't know what's going on in your life. And you do. You do know. You know the kind of people that are around you. You know the kind of people. You know the people who are actually there for you, who are really there for you, and who are not. So I suggest that you stop sharing all your information Anything that goes on with you, that even if it's good, even if it's good, do not share it with these people. Because they're not there for you. They're only there to bring you down. Like I said, you don't need fake friends. You need to stay with those people who are there for you, who listen to you, who care about you. Who want to help you grow. Because if they can't support you the way they, that you support them, they're not there for you. They're not your friend. So stop reminiscing about how it used to be with them, how close y'all used to be. Even I mean, this, this person could be somebody that you grew up with or whatnot and you thought that y'all were really good friends. No. 
They have always been this way. You just never noticed. So in order to get this wheel moving, you need to stop sharing all this information with these people because they're no good for you. Anywho's, that is the look at the week ahead and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.